Today we're going to be pouring epoxy on cornhole games and we're going to get started right now. Before using epoxy guys, I want to make sure that you guys are reading the directions. So many different epoxies are made for so many different things. You got thick pores, little pores, the, the velocity, I can't even spoke right, the thickness of the epoxy can be thicker or thinner depending on what type of pour you're going to use. Also the temperature guys, you got to make sure the temperature is right in the garage or, or the warehouse or workspace you're going to work in. So again guys, make sure you take it, take the time to read the directions on the back. I know it takes us like 15 seconds, none of us want to read it anyway. but. Take the time, your projects will turn out a lot better. Okay guys, when you're doing epoxy, it's very important to have plenty of these buckets on hand. I mean, they're so cheap, it's not even funny. If you're gonna have also detail, I use these dental syringes. They help out tremendously being able to get in the cracks. You'll be able to see that a little later in the video. Also, I have plenty of stirring sticks. We have some, some old sticks laying around, so we broke them and we use that to mix up. So again, just make sure you guys are using clean stuff, especially if you guys are trying to clear epoxy because if you got any color at all inside those boxes this is going to definitely show if you're doing color same color you can get away with it but the, the way that they're so cheap it wouldn't make sense just to pay another 30 cents or so just to be able to make sure that you have a great pour for the custom cornhole board that we're going to be using today i actually bought the lunar 27 the lunar dust um, i bought this a variety pack of multiple colors because i can never decide what color until i'm either inspired or the customer asks so i'd like to tell you guys you know this is a great pack to buy i didn't get sponsored by it but it's one of those and i mean the colors they're tremendous like the colors the colors <laughs> anyway i like the colors can you tell and now ladies and gentlemen let the epoxy pour you guys are catching up on the action as we already did pour the orange epoxy and now we're pouring the gray on this board. I wanted to go over and let you guys know we did do a two to one mixture on this one. We did add the adjective, uh, the color adjective to it. It was a powder base. I like to use powder because the epoxy is a liquid. There's chemical reactions happening. When you introduce more chemical, I feel like you can dilute it. This is also a great example of how you use the dental syringes. We did cut off the tip to give us a better flow, especially when we're doing the bigger ones. We did take take turns on this one because my hand was actually cramping up, and so Vanna came in to help out and relieve me. As we just finished up the gray right there, we're gonna go ahead and get started on mixing up the white pearl essence. We call it the white pearl essence because it sounds better than white. There's nothing more like exhilarating watching a card that you carved on the X card by Inventables. You know, I'm not sponsored, but hey, it's worth a shot. To be able to fill it up with the epoxy. We're gonna go ahead and let this set overnight, and then as you'll see later on in the video, I do hit it with sandpaper, and then be able to sand it all down, give it a nice flat surface to work with, and then we will show you the finish as well. But just enjoy as you watch the montage. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whew, that was a close one. I could watch that all day long. Gorgeous. 